This trend is emerging because many patients are now afraid of going to the emergency room right now. As medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, not only do they fear catching the virus, they fear the long wait times that are no longer there. And do you know what to do if you start getting respiratory symptoms? Yeah, go straight to the emergency room. When we spoke with Kevin, who asked us not to use his last name at this Ohio hospital emergency room, he was nervous coming here because he did not have symptoms of COVID-19. Instead, he told us, I've got problems with blood clots. Now it appears many other patients with life-threatening symptoms, usually treated in the emergency room, are feeling the same way. The, the overall census uh, in our ERs is, is at least 50% of what it would be at baseline. In fact, Dr. Brian Strader is part of the physician team managing this emergency room, his team seeing what many others are across the country. If you go to ER Inspector and type in your zip code, it will show you any emergency room wait time in any hospital in any state. The problem is that these numbers are more than a month delayed, so many areas that did have longer wait times now do not. According to cardiologist Dr. D.P. Shiresh, Suddenly there's a dramatic decline, which tells me that people are scared and are not coming to the hospital. After weeks of seeing video like this in emergency rooms where patients with COVID-19 were lining the hallways, Dr. Shiresh and Dr. Strader say what many of our Sinclair journalist teams report across the country. Unless you're in a hotspot city such as New York or Detroit, from Seattle to Cincinnati to Baltimore to Washington, D.C., it's likely patients who should be going to the emergency room for care are not, leading to a dangerous trend. Some of our own internal reports are that we're seeing as much as 40% decline in diagnosis of new cancer. Well, that's not because cancer was cured. Uh, it's because it's not being picked up. So I think one of the things that we heard was that people were afraid to go to the emergency room because you could catch COVID-19 and you could die. Right. But what you're really saying is by not going to the emergency room, you could die from other things. We know of at least one case in which a patient who had COPD, which is a form of emphysema and lung disease, and they were running out of oxygen and didn't want to go to the hospital because they were afraid. That They were afraid of potentially catching coronavirus in a facility and thus they decided to die at home. So here's what you need to know. In most places, COVID-19 coronavirus patients are being tested or cared for in other parts of the hospital, which means going to the emergency room right now is not only safe, but... I would say now would be the best time to go because your waiting time is going to be way shorter than ever before. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting. All right, good information there from Liz. And we have a link to that ER wait time website that she mentioned in her story on our website. That's local12.com. Of course, just click on this story there.